Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create an easy YouTube thumbnail in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, please keep watching. For this tutorial, you will need these colors and of course you will need your photo. At first, we need to delete a background from our photo. You can do it in Adobe Illustrator or you can do it in Adobe Photoshop, but you can do it as well with Cutout Pro. It's pretty easy and completely free. At first, you need to upload your photo. Let's select it, open, and now you upload your photo and now you see your photo without a background. Now you need to press download and free. And you see you can buy here uh, a bigger size of your photo, but for our thumbnail is okay a small size. So let's select free and our photo is downloaded. And now we need to create a new document with the size 1280 and 720. It's the size of YouTube thumbnail. And we need RGB color mode and 72 ppi. Great. Okay. Now let's take white color and rectangle tool and we need to create the rectangle like the size of our thumbnail. Okay, now let's add details. At first we need to take brown color, light brown color and curvature tool. And now let's create some lines like this to create abstract shape. So you can take curvature tool and move the points as you like. For example, like this, move here. Now copy and paste the shape and now rotate it like that, move here. And let's make it this color. Now select all three shapes and shape builder tool, hold odd and delete this part and this one. Okay. Now let's take texture to uh, text tool and let's take the size 100 and let's write YouTube and move here. Let's take the font you like. I have here this font. Right click, create outlines, make it bigger, move here. Now hold Alt and make two copies. Okay, select all three words and align them like this. Okay, move a little up. Now hold out and make the copy, move here. Change field to stroke. Now again hold out and make the copy and move here, like that. Okay, now let's select uh, the first YouTube and select liner gradient. Here we need this color and here this one. Now gradient tool and let's move the gradient like that. Okay, now select this word and again liner gradient. Here we need light red, here dark red, gradient tool. And let's move the gradient like this and the same here. With eyedropper tool take the gradient from the first YouTube and with gradient tool 
play with colors. So here we need light brown color and here we need this color. Okay, and here again light brown color. Okay, now I'm going to place a photo. File, place, let's take uh, the photo without background. Let's take it, place. Now hold and drag your photo like that. Okay, now I need to create the shadow. So copy and paste the photo, move here. Now go to window, image trace uh, here. Now let's, here we need black and white and here ignore white and preview. And let's play with the slider. I need only silhouette of me. So I need only black shape like that. Now object expand. OK. And now my shadow is 100 vector shape and bring my photo to front. OK. And now let's change uh, the color of the shadow to the brown uh, to the brown and opacity multiply. And now uh, let's select uh, the shadow and effect blur radial blur. And here I need I think 21 20. Five, it will be great. Here, spine and good. Okay. Okay, the shadow is ready. It's pretty cool. And now I need to add uh, some details. Let's take ellipse with a radial gradient. Here the ne we need light brown color and here we need classical black color, the color uh, the color code of the black six zeros and opacity will be screen. And now let's move this ellipse here. Maybe here and you can make it bigger if you want or smaller as well. You can play with the slider here. And now let's hold ALT and make the copy and move this shape here and maybe here. And I think the last one will be here. OK, now I like it. Now let's add the te text here. Let's take red color and rectangle tool create here rectangle, move here, make it a little wider. Now let's take text tool and let's write thumbnail and move here. Let it be white color, create outlines. Now go to let's make the rectangle smaller like that. And now I think uh, let's select the thumbnail, go to effect, shadow, drop shadow and let's take here dark red color. And now you can play with options as you like. For example, let it be 6, here 12 and 12, uh, maybe 15 and 15 
or 15 and 10 or 10 and 15 so you need to play till you'd like their result okay now let's make it a little wider our rectangle our rectangle okay and now let's play a little with thumbnail you can make it like this or you can move here and as well if you like you can move uh, the rectangle here you can align the text or you can align it by yourself so like this uh, and i think our thumbnail almost ready copy and paste the background bring it to front select the whole design and make clipping mask well guys our thumbnail is ready hope you like my tutorial and if yes please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials or in the next video about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye